Guys, hope you're well. Today we're back with another poster design uh, breakdown. Uh, I'm going to provide you the PSD so you'll find it in the description and uh, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Battlefield 2042 design. This is really cool poster design here. Um, I really like this effect what we have going on on the left with these clouds and then this uh, f kind of like a, like a lens flare kind of effect in the middle. So we try to recreate that. Um, let me just close this and then here we are. So this is what we came up with and um, obviously it's not exactly the same uh, but I think it's fairly close and we are going to go through how that uh, how we did that. So in the work files, uh, as you can see there's multiple folders here and uh, I started off with the with this cloud effect here and all I done is basically just created this cloud F, um, layer and then basically just enlarged it until kind of, kind of zoomed into one portion which was uh, looking pretty much alike what he, we have got here and uh, let me just show you so when I zoom out you can see uh, this is a really big large uh, layer and uh, it's just basically a small portion of it which I use. If I would just be to move it around, you can see it's like like that. Yeah, you might find a better um, position to it. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go back where I was before. So what I did, I applied some curves layer adjustment just to to get a little bit of uh, higher contrast. And uh, okay, don't do that. Let's see. Here we are. Okay, so as you can see, just the S curve a little bit up and down here, and then also added a posturize effect, uh, which I apply with the color dodge blend mode with um, just a minor six percent fill. So yes, you can see if I turn it off and on, it just gives a little bit of nice texture to this uh, cloud here. Uh, added a levels adjustment layer is just to pull the, the whites in and that's pretty much it and a gradient map to achieve this kind of dark uh, or dark side of a uh, dark order here, corner here so you can see um, this is how it looks and that's how I uh, add this uh, colors to these clouds Okay, the next one is the text layer. Uh, well, yeah, the text effect is very interesting because it is kind of a combination of two things. Well, the first one is like, they basically just kind of like cut this L and then moved it on the side. Uh, but if you can see on the, on the E, they didn't really do that. They actually just kind of cut out a corner of it. Same with the A. As you can see, it wasn't actually cut and moved on the side. It was just cut out a bit of it, which is very interesting, I think. So I tried to do that with our design here. I moved the E, um, the I, and then the E, I just cut out a um, portion of it. Okay, let me just uh, show you how that looks like. So this would be the the whole text. And as you can see, a uh, portion of it, I just kind of like cut it out. And uh, here I moved it to the side. Okay, let's move to the more interesting part to this kind of uh, light leak effect. Okay, so it's basically a part of two things. These nice flame sparkles and these light leaks here. So I started with some color uh, shapes and as you can see there's one here which is just a simple green um, uh, layer here uh, only 10% feel so it's very subtle but I did apply inner glow just to help to, to achieve a little bit of glow on the sides on the corner here 
uh, let me just move it back to its place there we go and then I also did a red one and as you can see it's just basically pretty much the same gradient overlay on it and then just a 10% fill uh, what is very interesting um, how I achieved this kind of uh, um, light leak and it's basically just a picture let me show you if I convert it to smart object and then I open it you can see how it looks like so we got this kind of cool light leak effect here and then I just literally cut out part of it like this here and then I just squeezed it you know like like this and uh, And then if I just move it back to the original design here, let me hide this, you can see you can just change the blend mode to screen and then it will kind of give you this cool effect. You can move it to its place and, and continue adjusting it. Mm, yeah. Yeah, like that you can just kind of squeeze it a bit more like that and then rotate it move it to its place you know just to further build up this nice effect here you know so that's how i actually achieved that uh on the psd you will find this light leak uh, layer so you can just play with it but this is how it looks like you see it's just kind of like that cut out and then we have got the flare of uh, the flame sparkles and uh, I let me just open this it's basically it's a stock image it's a free stock image uh, about these kind of uh, flame sparkles and, and I did the same it's literally just using this layer here and then just applying a screen uh, blend mode and then it will get rid of the black and it will just allow you to show these kind of nice cool uh, sparkles move it back what I did change though, it was um, I added a different um, hue saturation so I had to go and then just like alter it a little bit so it will be nice and red instead of this uh, yellow, that's all. Kind of helped me with the blending as well. Let me just undo all this. So I add one and I add another one just in inside here. That's why we have got two and then the light leak. Um, yeah, this is again, it's just the same kind of glow, um, kind of uh, stock image here, and I did the same thing. I just uh, applied the hue saturation adjustment layer, and then I just changed the blend mode to screen, and that's how this achieved. You see, and then I just moved it to the to the bottom here, so it gives this really cool effect. There we go. And I did play with this a lot. As you can see, I have got one, two, three, four, five of them. And uh, like one of them on the other side and uh, one in the middle. So I was just playing with them to build this effect up. And finally, we have got this uh, simple image here. I got it from the stock image uh, uh, um, website. I'm gonna actually link the website down in the description so you can, you can look around this some some cool stuff there. I did add a curves adjustment layer and um, a little bit of levels and that would be it. Yeah I tried another one as well I didn't like this as much I think the other one works better but either of them is nice and uh, and that would be the whole video. Uh, as I said you're going to have the PSD down below so you can just uh, take it apart, have a look at it, play with it, and uh, reuse it if you want, and, um, and that would be it. Okay, thanks for everybody who's watching, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't, and uh, also comment if there's anything in the future you'd like to see. Okay, thank you, bye.